Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the better channel, which is the build 2.2635.3790 for version 23H2. Well, this build is a bigger build that was released by Microsoft, and we have a few new, big, and interesting features that we're going to talk about in this video. So stay tuned for more information about what's new, what's changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the better channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with notifications bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access, a virtual private network where VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Private Internet Access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out Private Internet Access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83 percent discount and four months free. First of all, Microsoft is rolling out the new start menu look, which basically allows you to use your mobile device directly from the start menu on your Windows 11 PCs to Windows Insiders in the better channel. You're going to see a screenshot from Phantom Ocean 3's Twitter because unfortunately it is not yet rolled out for my device. But with this feature, you can stay connected and access your mobile device's functionalities right from the start menu. And the requirements for this are, of course, being on the latest build for the better channel, which is the build that I'm currently on and also you have to make sure that you have the latest update for the phone link app or that you can open up the Microsoft Store then go to library then click on get updates to get all the latest updates for the Microsoft Store for the phone link and so on as you can see in my case my phone link app was updated yesterday but I still didn't get this feature and also of course you can go and open up the phone link app and in the about section you can see the version of the phone link app in my case I'm way above the minimum required version you can click on check for updates but as you can see I'm up to date now once the info shown with this new update in the start menu you can view your phone's battery status and connectivity right from the start menu you can access your phone messages calls and photos directly from start and you can also pick up where you left off with the latest activities from your phone all integrated into the start menu experience in my case this is a cool little feature i think it will be useful for some users but one thing that you need to note is that this only works right now for android devices maybe in the near future for ios devices as well so i'm looking forward to to see your opinion on this feature in the comments below because this is quite a big feature that basically changes the start menu look in Windows 11. Also what you may notice is that Microsoft is adding the Copilot app also on the better channel so if you are enrolled on the better channel you'll be able to see this new app so basically Microsoft just gave up on the integrated Copilot thing in Windows and they've just created a separate app that has only the web experience which doesn't help you a lot you cannot do anything Windows wise with it you cannot open apps or something Thing like that so i think this is a step backwards but of course only microsoft knows what they're doing so this is basically just an app right now you can resize it you can pin it on your start and so on and if we right click of course you can see that this is just a web page in this app now related to the taskbar if you right click on the taskbar and then go to taskbar settings then scroll down to taskbar behaviors you're going to notice two new options here in the taskbar settings which we've talked about in a previous video basically microsoft introduces the show shortened time and date which is not right now enabled and show notification bell icon so basically you save up more space here in the right corner i think that is good this is how it comes by default if i'm not mistaken when you upgrade to this build but you can uncheck this and then check show notification bell icon and the system tray area will be as it was before but if you leave it as this you're going to have more space here in the system tray area so i think this is a nice little addition for microsoft because maybe some users don't want the full date shown here and still you have the clock with seconds if you want and the month and year and also the notification bell i don't think it was necessary because it has no particular use of course you can see if you have new notifications or not but i'm not sure if that is such a deal breaker and of course you can see notifications by just clicking on the time and date and you have three possible visuals for this you have this one which shows the shortened time and date and doesn't show the notification bell icon you can have this one which shows the shortened time and date and shows the notification bell and you have this one which will show the full time and date and no notification bell and and the fourth one with the full date and time and the notification bell so you can play around with it and see what is best for you now we have a new feature that was discovered by phantom motion 3 and basically we have a redesigned open with dialog if you right click on an app and then click on open with and then choose another app you're gonna see that this is redesigned a bit basically we have select an app to open this jpeg file we have three apps here and we have this new section more apps if you click on it you'll have this animation which will show you more 
apps that you can use to open the file that you've tried to open. And you also have choose an app on your PC, the classic menu and browse apps in the Microsoft Store. And I think this is quite interesting. But what I would like Microsoft to work on is working on suggesting better apps for opening certain files because I saw even on my main computer that Microsoft sometimes doesn't show the correct or right apps for a certain file type. So of course, this is right now a hidden feature. But if you want me to make a different video in which I show you how to enable this, make sure to leave a comment below. We also have a few fixes in this build, for example, related to the file explorer, Microsoft addressed contrast issues of certain elements in file explorer, for example, the left navigation pane, view pane, folder view, status bar buttons on the bottom right, in light, dark and high contrast themes, for example, adjustments to make it easier to see when a file or folder is selected. Also, Microsoft fixed the issue where settings was crashing when trying to look at Wi-Fi properties. And then again, related to settings, if you go to system and then optional features, Microsoft fixed an issue that might have crashed the settings app when attempting to install an optional feature in this section. We also have a few new known issues, for example, related to the start menu, Microsoft is investigating an issue where all the all apps list isn't being read out by screen readers. And also, Microsoft is working on the fix for an issue causing some apps to not be sorted correctly in the all apps list when using certain display languages. And also related to voice typing, Microsoft is working on the fix for an issue causing some insiders to see errors when attempting to use voice typing. And basically, this is all there is to it to the latest beta channel build. I think this is quite an exciting build. And of course, I'm looking forward to your opinion in the comments below. What is your favorite new feature from this build? If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.